Hey, we have any soda? Yeah, in the fridge. Um, okay then. Stay tuned for a special Soda Sunday coming up. And welcome back everyone to the channel here. I am Rob, aka Twilight Collector. And welcome everybody here to our regular Sunday video. However, today's Sunday video here is a little extra special one here. Because this is going to be the first of maybe many Soda Sunday videos right here. So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are a new viewer here to the channel here, Welcome to Toronto Collector. We're always family friendly here. Hopefully by the end of this video here you want to down below and to the right there click the subscribe button there please. To click on the bell icon there and select all of the bell icons. So now it looks like the bell is ringing there. That way you're notified of all of our future videos. And if you're one of our awesome subscribers and you want to help financially support our channel. You'll find a link to our awesome free level patron program down in the description on this video. Where is the description on this video may I ask? Down below there at the bottom right corner of the video here, right across from the name of the video here, you'll see a little arrow like this pointing down. There's an arrow like this. It's not a V, it's an actual arrow pointing down. Just click on that on your device and it will open up the description on this video. That's where you'll find links to our Patreon program, previous videos, and in this particular video case, a link to the awesome uh, Canadian YouTuber that I did an awesome hot trade with here, No Ford. Down there in London, Ontario. I don't know if I have permission to say where he is or not there, but he's down in London, Ontario right there. I didn't have a chance to text him before filming this video to see if it's okay to say that or not there. But yes, if anybody out there has ever done any trades with Noah, you know where he is as well there. I'm in Toronto. He's down there in London, Ontario, which is southwest of where I am, about a couple hours southwest of where I am right there. He and I did an awesome trade of sodas, which you're going to see in this video hopefully you'll like watching this video there and you'll watch this video in entirety from start to finish and as i said if you're one of our awesome subscribers and want to support our channel there, please do click on the patreon program down in the description on this video there the three level patreon program there to help support our channel and all money received in from the patreon program or even sale of our awesome car collector merch which you still have some t-shirts here for sale all money received in goes right back into the channel to help us bring you this awesome content. Now, I did a uh, successful pop hunt, pop slash soda hunt yesterday there. Uh, I went to three different stores there yesterday there. I'll show you a clip of that right now. Well, hey everyone, Toronto Collector here, finishing off my uh, successful pop slash soda hunt here at the mall here. I'm going to over at the local TTC where I'm going to be hopping the bus soon there and Went to one last store here and got an awesome, some little more awesome content for Soda Sunday. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. You're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the to the channel right here. So there is my little pop hunt I did there yesterday there. I like to spread the wealth here. I like to go to three different stores and pick up the different sodas and other things there for the today's awesome video there as i said before this here is a, maybe the first of many soda sunday videos so now without further ado here all right we'll get to the box here that uh, noah sent me there uh we did that soda trade video and noah will be dropping his video on his channel there today as well as as you're watching this one here because we've been talking on instagram there and by the way if you want to get hold of me on instagram there that's my IG name there, right there. You can always drop me a, a, a DM there on IG right there. No one and I have been talking on IG there, and he, knew, he knows that I'm filming today's video as of this morning, which is Sunday the 10th, I believe, of July. Yep. And uh, I, I do our regular Sunday video. He'll be dropping his video there sometime today there as well there. So I'll drop a link to his channel down below in the description there. I don't know what his video is going to be called there. I won't be my box. It might just be called Sword of Trade with Toronto Collector. I'm not sure. But after you finish watching this video here, please go click on the link to his channel 
down in the description of this video. Go to this channel there. Look for the video called Trade with Toronto Collector. Click on that video there. Check out that his video there. Give him a thumbs up there. Drop him a comment down below. And if you're watching this video, there, please drop him a comment saying Toronto Collector sent you. That way he'll know that you came over from my channel there. And hopefully maybe if you like his, his content, please be sure and give him a subscribe there as well there. Because he's a great, another great Canadian YouTuber. And he does mostly sodas. I do mostly pops. He has mostly sodas there. So I guess, I think between the two of us there, we, we can both provide you all out there great content. So be sure and give him a comment down there. If you're not subscribed to his channel there, please drop him a subscription right there. I'm sure you probably say the same about my channel there. So anyways... Um, yeah, he, he's had my box here for a while. There's a little delay in me getting his box here, but I found the guy's box right there. If you follow me on IG, you saw the picture I posted a couple days ago, reminding all of my awesome followers. And if you're following me there on IG, thank you very much for following me there on IG. It really means a lot to me. I don't do a lot of posting on IG there. I just put a teaser on IG for Friday or Saturday's vid for today. And I don't, I also, want, I'm on TikTok as well there, but I haven't done anything on TikTok there for a while. I find TikTok a little hot, tough to do videos. So anyways, before you tune off there, let me get right to this box right here. here. So this, here is the box. The don't step me here. Size are just for three stories right there. So as I said, I won't tell you what I sent him there. You have to go to his video on this channel and find it after you watch me here. So now, this this one here is actually, the one thing is usually when you, when you send things in the mail, they usually you put the two information right there on the label there. He wrote all my information on, on, right on the side of the box right there. So ironic as it is. So anyways, I won't, I won't, I won't, I will spare you the time here about telling you about the long delay that Catapost had there. The Catapost was going through some little, few, a few delays. Anyways, oh, again, I'm using my trusty box cutter knife right there, the safest knife you can use with a locking, with a, with a breaking system on there so you can lock the blade closed or lock the blade open there. It is, this is what you call a box cutter knife. Box cutter knife there because the end of the blade right there has lines on it. And the blade right there has lines on it, and what you can do is when this part, of, when this when this part of the blade here gets dull, you can take off this, you can take off the end piece here, insert it in the insert it into the end right here or somewhere, and just snap the end off. That's why these ends come off here is for breaking the blade off there to get a new fresh blade. That's how these um, utility knives work. A box cutter knives work. That's how they work. There, so you always have a new fresh blade, but. If you're too young, if you're underage, please do not use these yourself. Get all the sibling or mom and dad to help you there because they can cut. Well, of course they can cut, but they can cut skin as well. So be, please be very, very careful. And that's my knife lesson for today. So anyways, okay, here is the box now open right here. We'll see how Noah packed it right here. I'm sure he did very, I'm sure he did very well there because he has more shipping than I do. So I'm sure he did, did very well. There is his box right there. Inside, look at his box right there. Bubble wrap there, very nice. You can always tell when a collector packs a box at the postal company. The collectors always seem to pack boxes a lot better than the companies do. So anyways, here's the bubble wrap right there. Oh, how kind of him. He included a whole bunch of candy. I forgot to do that. Oh, how, how kind. Well, Smarties. He included some Canadian Smarties right here, if you're not familiar with that brand. Some Smarties. Um, Hershey's Chocolate. Hershey's chocolate right there. A couple of those. Wow. Look at all this, folks. Look at all this. Look at all that candy right there. So I can tilt my camera down a little bit to show you. Look at all the candy in, in there. In there, he sent me right there. Awesome. And he even sent me. And he sent me a letter there too. Wow. Look at all the candy. Wow. I'm not sure if I told him I'm not that. I'm, I'm not really big a big candy lover there, but uh, thank you no anyway. So look at all the candy. Wow. What is this Halloween? Was this was this a door from your Halloween there, Noah? Because we had no Halloween last. It must be Halloween last year, because we're in July. So, anyways, here and this an awesome letter. They sent me right there. Yep, that's me. That's me. And he even taped it a little bit, taped the clothes a little bit there. So now, this is the, this is gonna be the only thing I'll be doing on today's video here. Shall I read the letter? Shall I read the letter? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, he sent me stickers too. Cool. I, I know I sent him stickers there too. Okay. I think he even autographed it. He even autographed it right there. NF. So of course Noah Ford. He's got he's even got his own stickers there. Cool. Yeah, Noah is definitely a basketball fan. He's more of a basketball fan than a hockey fan. And he, his favorite player out there is LeBron James. That's his favorite player. 
LeBron James. He loves LeBron James. So you must love the new the new Space Jam movie, I'll tell you. LeBron's in it. Yeah. Personally speaking, I haven't seen it yet. I don't really watch a lot of anime or animated movies or whatever else. But I, I haven't seen that one yet there, but I have to, we still have to, yet to watch it right here. So here is the letter he sent me right there. Um... Thank you, very, thank you so much for the trade. You didn't date it, but thank you so much for the trade. I'm super happy we can make a deal that helps both our our collections. I appreciate that you gave me such a great deal, which I did, uh, and some amazing sodas. I hope you and Maria enjoy the extra treats I threw in. It's always great talking to, with you, and we can set up a combo, a, a collab soon. I love the vids. I love the vids, and... All kinds that you put out. Well, thank you very much, brother. I really appreciate that. I will link your channel in the description on the vid when I open your box. I sincerely hope you do so. Have yourself a, have you, hope you enjoy the stickers. And thanks for all the support you show on my channel. Sincerely, Noah, the Funko Kid. Thank you very much, Noah, there, for the very kind words you said to me there. Thank you very much right there. Yes, I, yes, I've been talking to Noah quite a lot there. And I really do think he's like the Canadian equivalent of Jim Rock and Roll there, who's an awesome. He's, Jim is the sort of king down in Vegas right there. And I think that Noah is definitely the Canadian equivalent of him, that's for sure. Because he has a lot more sodas than I do, folks. If you're a soda lover and you're not, you're not already subscribed to him there, please go down in the description there to, on this video there, look for the link to Noah's channel. Ch click on it go over, his, over his channel there get my subscribe watch this video not just video of my box of opening my box but all the rest of his videos there give him a like give him a comment there and on his video opening my box here please say what the collector sent you and says hi so that's a that's a that's a great little letter right there from him there yes i just did some some of my stickers there as well there so now to get on with what he sent me here he sent me here one pan am stewardess right there he sent me Fearless Leader, and he sent me, as well, and he sent me Flegel, right there, which is awesome, right there. Now, these are all, this is what happens when your table's not big enough, things fall. And he set, even put bubble wrap even in the bottom of the box right there, he even put bubble wrap at the bottom of the box. That shows a real, a real collector with a shipping experience, but bubble wrap in the, in the bottom of the box as well. Now, he just sent me comment there because I sent him a, a, a viable chase in place of my Pan Am Sooners. Because if you watched my channel before, I did, uh, I, I pulled two Pan Am Sooners, Sooners before, a domestic and an international. If you have not seen the video, it's on the channel here. I'll try to find it and link it down below in the description. And on that particular video there, I pulled, I had two Pan Am Sooners, Sooners, one domestic, one international. On both of them, I pulled two chases. Couldn't believe it. I pulled two chases. So, when I looked up PPG value, it, I realized that with Pan Am Stewards and the sort of form there, the com is actually worth more valuable than the chase. Go figure. So, anyways, he saw that video there and he asked me if I wanted uh, one of them there. And, you know, and we worked out a, a, a nice trade there. So, what's the, what Noah sent me here is a Pan Am Stewardess. This here will be the common. He sent me right here. This will be the common. Oh, he has to keep the black bag. <laughs> I said, is it a black bag? You just keep the black bag. You want to steal it. You want to collect it just to keep the black bag. So there is the Pan Am Stewards International Common. International Common right there. This is what she looks like. For those of you out there who have not seen it, seen her yet, there is what she looks like right there. That is the Pan Am Stewards Common. So I figure right there. Here was her fashionable Pan Am bag right there. My camera will, do, will focus on that. On that. There is Pam Stewardess Common. And this matches up with the one I opened up before, as I, as I mentioned before, of the Pan Am Stewardess Chase. So we've not seen it here yet. This here is the Pan Am Stewardess Chase. I, I opened up a couple weeks ago right there with a fashionable bag right there. This is the Chase. So the Chase is a redhead, and the Common is a blonde. And the Chase itself. Because it's international, because it's international, the chase is a white pog, and the, whoopsie. Yeah, anyways here, so the, it, so the international chase is a white pog right there, and the chase here is one in 1,000, and mine, 
that I pulled there. Oh, that's what, that's what I pulled right there, the chase. Before, that's what I pulled the chase. The right hit is the chase, which is one in 1,000. What he sent me there is a pan source common, which is one in 5,000. So now I have one of each. I have, I now have, I now have the perfect set. So hashtag down below, perfect set. Put the hashtag right, but I'll put the hashtag right between these two figures right here. Perfect set right there. That's awesome right there. Happy, very happy to get that. Now, what you also sent me here was, a part of the deal here, Fearless Leader. I only have him in pop form, to be honest there, but I will be featuring him in, in pop form in upcoming video there, so stay tuned for that. I'll show you the, the Fearless Leader Common. This is the Fearless Leader Common here. Fierce Leader, there is the pog right there. Of the Fierce Leader Common. You remember him from Rocky Bullwinkle. And the common right here is uh, 6,250. Wow, that's a lot of pops right That's a lot of slows right there. 6,250 right there. This is pog. Yeah, no one just keep his black bags. He doesn't keep, I can't hang on my black bags. He doesn't hang on to his. So there is Fearless Leader Common right there. And his green outfit. Why does he wear a green outfit for? I don't know. I, I haven't watched Rocky Bullwinkle in years. I don't know why he wears a green effort there, but anyways, he does. So there is that one out of the way right there. And the last story he sent me right here as part of the trade here was one that I I went out and bought yesterday. This here is from Hanna Barbara. This here is a uh, piece of 8,500. This here is Flegel right here. Flegel. I should have it clear, clear, clear off the table before I did this video. Oh well. Live and learn, right? So this is Flegel. Again, not too familiar with this character here, but there's Flegel there. I believe the Hanna Barbera character right there. And this figure here is uh, 1 in 7,100. This is, again, it's a common Flegel. 7,100. Wow, that's another big piece count. And there again is the Flegel common. Now, I knew he would ship me this one there. He shipped me those three commons. I knew he was doing this. So, what I did was I went out, out and purchased myself from one of my local stores. A sealed flegal there in hopes of getting the uh, perfect set. So now, without further ado, I will now undo, open up this flegal sealed soda. This is a sealed soda right here in hopes of getting the perfect set. It won't be the perfect pull because Noah, we, I traded for the common there. So it won't be a perfect pull, but it can be a perfect set. So there is the flegal with a sealed soda. One in 8,500. Wow, that's a big piece count right there. 8,000. Usually, well, 20,000 would be a bigger piece count there. But usually, if a, if a piece count for us is that large, usually I don't buy them in there. Because the odds of getting chased are like one in nothing. So, anyways. I need more. I need a lot more space here than I have. So, this is the seal bag right here. I'm going to do this PFO style. Pop Force 1 style there. If you don't know who Pop Force 1 is, DM me and I'll give you more information there. So this is Pop Force. This is Pop Force One style. Definitely has a pocket in there, which is a good, which is a good sign. Good old, uh, good old quality Funko quality control there. So here we go. I'll show the camera first. So we're looking for now. This is um, this is domestic here. This is domestic here. So we're looking for a colored pog, I believe it is for a domestic. We're looking for a colored pog. I believe we're looking for a colored pog here. So here we go for domestic. Here we go. No, it looks pretty white to me. Looks pretty white. Yep, yeah, another common. Another common right there. Another common seagull. Well, that's exactly what. Well, should I should have. I guess I better open it up there just to make sure the Funko got it right. Oh, the bag aren't even sealed. The bag is the bag sealed. Yeah, bag sealed. Yeah. I better open it up just to make sure the Funko did actually get it right. Because you never know what Funko is. Some of the quality control. As you can see here, the bag here. Quality control, sometimes, sometimes really bad with Funko there. Yep, there is another common seagull right there. So because I don't need two common seagulls here, this one this one will be up for trade right there. So if you're interested in trading me for this common seagull right there, uh, from I got from the store, not Noah's, but the one I got from the store. I'll hang on to Noah's, but the one I got from the store. If you're interested in, in, in trading this one here for another one there, please do DM me on IG. That will be up for trade. Okay, so that is Flegel out of the way. So now, what I got right here as well here now is, I bought two more sealed 
Soda is here, and this is a character here I bought from GameStop here, which I'm not familiar with there, so if you're familiar with this character, please do comment it down below. This here is Spike Spiegel. And I bought, I got this one here, the steel sword here, because yeah, the price was right here. This, this, I bought this at GameStop there for only $17 Canadian. So the price was right there. So if you're familiar with this character there, I'm sure Jim Rock and Roll has opened this, opened this up, up by now there. But I do subscribe to Jim, and I do follow Jim there. And I have, I don't remember seeing him open this sword there before, but he probably opened it a long time ago. So I'm not going to call his first look, because I'm sure he opened it a long time ago. But anyways, there he is right there. There's a piece count here of... Uh, 6,000, nice piece count, and this here is an international. This is an international, so we're looking for a white pog for the chase. But since I don't, since this is my first one, I'll say chase are common right here. So as I said, I bought some GameStop right there. GameStop is now having, uh, seal stores there as well as other things right there. So they're a great store there in my East End Mall. So, there we open the box, open the can. Boy, I, I'm really getting uh, full, full of space here. I'm losing space right here. Anyways, oh, the pog in there is a good deal, good sign. So here we go here. Uh, since this is international, we're looking for a white pog. It's Because this is international, we're looking for a white pog for the chase. Okay, here we go, everyone. Here we go. Looking for a white pog. Here we go. Tension mounting. Oh, it looks pretty colorful to me. Looks like a lot of color to me. Yeah, we got a common. We got a common. Oh well, got a common. That's what the international commons look like. They're a colored pog. And now he is one in five thousand. So that's definitely is a common right there. Oh well. I can always go back there and buy another one of them in a couple of days here. So for those of you out there who have not seen him there yet, I'm honestly not even familiar who whose character is. I bought it because the price was right. So there he is right there. Down there with his uh, unique green hair right there and a gun in his hand. So if you know if you know who this character is, please do comment it out down below, and please let uh, let everybody know who this character is right there. That's a cool one there though. So okay, that's a cool one there. And the last soda I'm opening for today is also a seal soda here. It's from the great TV show Stranger Things, and Marie and I are currently watch it right now. We just started watching season four. So please, no spoilers down below there. We just started watching season four there. We're not yet familiar with who the er character... Eddie. Eddie. There, there yet. Because we just started watching season four just last night there. So this here is, from Stranger Things, Eleven. And this is supposedly Eleven with Egos. One of the most famous of the pop episodes of this character right there. Eleven with Egos. And as you can see here, this is a sealed soda. That's outside, folks. You can hear, see this is a seal soda. I bought this from Mind Games in the town center here. And this again here is another international. And this here is again a uh, $6,000 piece international. So again we'll be looking for a white pod. I bought this at Mind Games there for about $19. Bucks. $19 Canadian. So this is the last one I'll be opening for today. For today's first debut Soda Sunday. So here we go. I like it when they're sealed. Believe me, I did a whole video about so it's being sealed or not sealed. I did a whole video of that before on the channel right there. So here we go. You see how I open it right there, folks? I, I work along the edge, so put my finger, my non-existent fingernails under the edge lip of the can. That way it pries it open like that, and then you can just pop it off no problem. So for anybody having problems out there opening soda cans, that's all you do. You just work, work your fingers along the edge of the can by the lip of the can there to get a space there, and then you can just pop it off right there. You don't need to go... Because you, cause you do it like that, that's how your fingers are going to break. And you're probably going gonna to curse a lot there. So just work your fingers along right there. Along the edge of the can. If I need to do more in, uh, of an in-depth video there. About how to open cans, you sort of can safely. I will do it in the future. If you want to know, please comment down below and let me know. So again, this here is 11 with Egos. Shield bag, a good sign. So since this is international, we are again looking for a white pog. So here we go. Looking for another white pog. Here we go. What well, the odds we get a white pot? We get a white pot there, Mary. What do you think? Mm -hmm. She's the sound director over there. Okay, here we go. Looking for a white pot. Here we go. Oh, it looks pretty colored to me. Looks pretty colored. Yep, we have a color one. We have a color pot. Not there's anything wrong with that, but internationally, you want we don't want a white pot right there. Oh, that's okay. Well, this is my first eleven. 
first saw it first 11 in store for right there so i i would definitely hang on over there go back in the home on there for the per perfect set right there so there's 11 pog right there she's one in five thousand one in five thousand good big piece shot right there looks like she's been beaten up there that must have been season two or three there when she uh got smacked around or whatever because she looks like she she got bruises on her face right there i really do like the 11 character i think i think the actress who, do, who plays 11 there i think she has a really good job i don't i don't remember her name but i think she has a good job but as I said, we entered season four just yesterday, so please no spoilers down below there. If you're ahead of us there, please no spoilers, okay? If you want, to, uh, please no spoilers for you, any of the seasons. If for any subscribers here who have not yet seen Stranger Things, it, it it's not really showed here that I would hide indoors yet. It is. It definitely has a good name because it is Stranger Things. It is definitely strange, that's for sure. The so, actress who plays Eleven, his name is Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. Okay, Director Maria that corrected me there. So Millie Bobby Brown does a good job in Stranger Things. So there is the awesome figure right there. Eleven with her famous Eleven with Eggos right there. Awesome looking sort of figure right there. Very detailed. It even actually says on the box Ego. I wonder how much Ego had to get I wonder how much Funko had to give Ego to to actually put their actual actual name brand. On the, see that right there? I actually said the name around the box right there. So I wonder how much Funko had to give Ego Waffles there to actually put the name on the box. I wonder how much I had to give him. And as you see that she's been using her, her powers of her mind right there because she has a bloody nose right there. If you're not familiar with who this character is, please go, do, go check out Stranger Things. Start from the beginning, season one. Because if you jump right through, halfway through, you gotta get confused. So go back to season one of Stranger Things and start watching it right there. And you, if you want to binge watch it, binge watch it there. Because we're up to season four so far. So there she is in her in her uh, earlier outfit right there. One of the first things she did when she got away was she went and read, went to a grocery store there and got her egos right there. So I eat her, her waffles right there. So anyways, now we're 23 minutes long. Very sorry this video has gone there so long. Folks, by the, probably by the time I edit it together, it might be like half an hour. So I'm very sorry about that. I will try, I will work hard. To make shorter videos in the future, like my hashtag appear videos are shorter than this. So, anyways, I thank you very much for watching. Uh, should I do should I do a hashtag for today's video there for people who um, yeah, I'll, I'll do hashtag for today's video there. I realize I'm a little bit uh, late and give you uh, my prizes there for people who watch the hashtag there. But believe me, I'll be catch up to my giveaways coming up really really soon. So, I thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget after you see this. Please do not forget to go into the description, check out Gordon Noah's channel, check out his trade with me, Trust the Collector, and please drop, drop down in the comments, Trust the Collector says hi. Please do that for me there. I thank you very much, very much for watching. Shout out to Maria. Mama. Hello, Mama out there in Kingston there. Hello, my best bud Al out there in Oshawa there. Our, subscriber for, our subscribers in Oshawa, our, our awesome subscribers out there in Alberta. All over the world, I can't name you all, Deborah. But thank you very much for, for your continued support and please your continued comments are down below. The hashtag for today's video is going to be hashtag trade, hashtag trade. So just DM me that on IG hashtag trade. That way I know you saw this video in its entirety there, and I'll send you something in the mail as long as I can get your address. So hashtag for today is hashtag trade. That's the hashtag for today. So thank you very much for, for very much for watching. Hope, hope everybody out there has a great rest of your day. Please stay, do stay tuned for more fun videos coming soon in the near future. Thanks for watching. Thank you everybody for watching. Stay safe and take care. Hey, do we have any soda? Yeah, in the fridge.